Hey there and welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco and over here we do Daz 3D videos to help you to get the most out of your own renders. Continuing our look at the basic options that we have available to us in Daz, in this quick video what we're going to be doing is I'm going to mess around with the shape and tab that you can see that I have highlighted down here. At the moment you can see that it's empty, nothing in there and the reason for that is because we have nothing selected in scene. Over here in the viewport, you can see that we've got a model loaded into our scene and she's all suited and booted and has got a bit of hair on the top of her head and she's all ready for us to have a mess around with in the shape and tab. And to be able to do that, what we need to do is to give a click on the model herself in our scene tab up here. And then as you can see, we get our scene tab down, our shape and tab down below, get populated out with all of these things that we've got here now. Unfortunately, the DAS font and choice of colouring isn't great, but what we want to do is we want to select the submenu item, so in that case, Genesis 9 female, that matches what we've got up there. And then if we double-click it and expand it out, or just use that little, little arrow over to the side there, we will see that there's all of these little categories, subcategories involved there. And these are all categorised in a way where they contain morph sliders that we can change, that we can then change and mess about with the basic fundamental details on our model. Now, if we give one of these little subcategories a click, let's say head, you can see that we get all of these... Uh, sliders over on the side that we can manipulate and change before i do that what i'm going to do is i'm just going to turn that off the daz eye rail otherwise it'll slow things down uh, and if i just expand this window out a little bit so we can see the names of these things uh you'll see there's all various different colored things and different sliders that we can use in here not all the sliders that you will see in my list here will be available for you. Some of them you get added in there based on what, what you've got installed on your system, whether that's a model or whether that's a particular shape and set that you can buy separately. Uh, for a Genesis 9 model, what we want to be looking at is these light blue uh, ones that you can see here. see here. These are the base sliders, shape and sliders that come with a Genesis 9 model. If you're playing around with a Genesis 8 or a Genesis 3, I think that's a dark red colour that you want to be looking for. But all of these light blue ones... Uh, from cranium height to school size and things like this these are the ones that will be the base essential sliders that you can use with a particular generation that you're you're working with and what we need to do we just come down to find one that we find let's say school size here and like any slider if we slide it right and left you can see over on the model as you can see over there the school size will be changing now if you've ever played around with a, a an RPG on your computer, a role-playing game on your computer, where you have to create and design your character at the beginning, you'll probably be familiar with this process as it stands. As it stands. Uh, however, we probably do have a bit more detail in Daz to be able to do this type of stuff. Now, another thing you need to be aware of, doing these things, if we come up to cranium size, what's that bit? That's the bit at the top of the head. Uh, one thing we do need to be aware of, we're not going to be able to fundamentally change our basic model. That comes baked in with the, the model that we've got loaded we can change that which i'm going to get onto in a different video uh following on from this but all that we're going to be able to do here is just change the fundamental details that we need just the details that's all so if we come across the eyes again these orange ones you probably won't have you might do depending on what you've got installed but if we come down to these light blue ones and we come to say this high hole angle if we have a look at our viewport you can see that we're just shifting the, the angle that the eyes exist in our, our model's head there. Uh, again, you can go from minus 100, like with any of these slides, up to plus 100%, and we'll get different uh, views occasionally. Now, one thing that we do need to be able to do as well, if it's not just heads or facial features that we can change, we can actually come down and change the body features also. So if we were to come down to chest and we start uh scrolling through these again we can see these light blue ones and the the, the different colored ones again are from you know things that i've got extras installed and we'll come down to every schoolboy's dream and we'll start playing a lot around with uh the breasts of the 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 model that we've got so we can change the breast down there as you can see or we could i mean even if i do come down further we can, oh, I don't know what can we can play with down here that, that will actually show up. Maybe it shouldn't have come to chess because it's very limited. If we were actually to come up to Actor, this is an interesting one because what we can do in this uh, 
part of the slider system is. Again, we'll come down just to look and put these light blue ones. And as you can see, for some reason, it changes from a slider to a little box in, in here on Actor, which isn't the most helpful thing in the world to do. But if we come down to, to again, these light blue ones, just so that they, they are the base ones associated with Genesis 9, we can change the basic structure now of our model. So, for instance, we've got body heavy there. So if we just up that slider, we can see that we're putting a little bit of weight onto our model or you know we can also add a little bit of muscular mass onto it if we just take the uh the heavy part down which i can find it there it is if we take that down and we come down to muscular mass you can see now we're adding a bit of bulk and muscularity onto her also if that's if that's a thing that you're doing and so you know like i said we, we're not going to be able to change the basic look of our character she's always going to look very similar to this but we're going to be changing the details that she comes with uh in the next video that I'm, I'm about to do we're actually going to show how we can create unique models by using these sliders real unique models on these sliders and i'll give you the tip as to where that that's going to happen is if we were to come up to currently used what that'll do is it'll give us a list of all the sliders that, that are currently being applied to the shape of this model you can see that the blue ones that we've got there are the ones that we played around with and what the ones that we changed uh, when we were messing about just a little bit earlier. These yellow ones, as you can see, these are the, the actual sliders that are associated with our model that we see over here, what we bought and paid for from the DAS store and installed. These are the sliders that determine uh, what this model actually looks like. If it's been baked into a slider and then it gets applied to a base model. If we were to come down to Van Helsen 9 head, which you can see down here this is the slider that will define the facial features the, the base facial features that are, that are baked into this model so if we were to turn that into a zero we can see that we have a very different look and model let's be polite about that a very different look and look and model i think that's the base genesis 9 model that we have but again if we then go back and add that slider back in van elson 9 slider back in our model returns back to looking as she was before we messed about. Now that's a little clue as to what's coming next and how we're going to create unique models. So for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye now.